I'm always say that I like to take the money from customers, not from the bank or from investors. I'm not a big fan of like um, external money, to be honest. Hyping up an idea, getting millions of funding, and then blowing it up two years later because there was no no business model behind it. I I don't know. I'm just personally don't like this too much. People who are big fans of this open core model, um, I, I'm not a fan of that. First of all, it's not really open source, right? It's you use basically open source as a marketing tool, as a as a trigger to make people interested. But then, if they really want to use it, they realize. They, they really can't. And there are lots of other reasons because then you go into a situation where the community and the company have to work against each other somehow because then the community tries to re-implement all these uh, enterprise features as open source and the company has to block it because they're like, no, 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 this is something you need to pay for. You cannot have it for free. And this just creates all kinds of messy situations. And I'm just uh, not a big fan of that. Um, I, I really like the support model more. We have over 2,000 uh, contributors to the core of Nextcloud alone. So really, it's really a big community. And there's also the company. Uh, we are a bit like 85 people at the moment, 85, 90 people uh, working full-time on, on Nextcloud. Um, and this is something yeah, that is paid by um, support and subscriptions that we sell to, to big companies where we get the money from, and then we are able to pay um, for, the, for the development of this open source software. Nextcloud is like the most successful of my ideas of the code I, I did and the communities I created. Um, it's a bit like um, over six years old now, getting close to seven now. And of course, it's an open source solution um, for protecting privacy and security for of people working together and communicating over the internet, which is, as you said, is always for me the, the most important thing that people should have like the IT and the data and the communication under control, but still have like great software. That's what we do at Nextcloud here. They're really happy. They really like their work. And we have like, of course, millions of users all over the world using Nextcloud on a day-to-day -day basis. Organizations who are doing really humanitarian work. I mean, from the, from the Red Cross to just a bunch of NGOs, people in Asia and Africa who couldn't afford like uh, commercial proprietary software organizations in Ukraine at the moment using Nextcloud uh, for their logistics. And this is what makes me very proud. This makes me very happy. So that actually all the work is um, that yeah goes into Nextcloud is actually making the world a little bit better. So that's a, that's a good thing. Thank you. If you start a company, an organization, you're tiny, right? It's beginning, you're one person with the idea. And uh, and you don't have customers, and you don't have, don't have money, and there's no way to hire someone because you have have no resources. Um, and a great way to get out of this problem is, of course, with a community that is like put your idea in the open, um, as I did uh, in this case. Um, and then suddenly people come and say, "Oh, this is interesting. Can I be part of it? Can I work? Can I help with that?" And then with the help of the community, you can really you can really uh, yeah get going.